We're walking in the Hungry Hollow. Beautiful. Look, this is the forest that we used. We walk, it's a hill. There you go. There's my two brothers. They already got ahead. But it's really a hilly, hilly, hilly walk. See? Going up. So you really have to slowly do it. I have to walk slowly because I have a cane. Let's show you guys. Okay, see? My cane. Here I am. Walking. First time ever walking in a snow and hungry hollow. I've been living in Georgetown for 23 years and this is the first time I've been in this neck of the woods. So, oh, there's a toboggan in there. I wonder if there's some kids that play and do that. I really have to do it slowly. Because, you know, you don't want to have an accident and slide accidentally. Now we're climbing up, climbing back up. Oh, my Lord. We were planning to go under the bridge, but it's a lot farther and I am getting dizzy. So I said, okay, let's go home. See, this is the thing when you have, you have to go on an adventure with me. It's unpredictable. You never know how I feel. Sometimes I could be doing okay and sometimes forget it and all I did was just go down this hill and it throws me off really bad okay this is the view it's beautiful but sit down look at my hair Holy mackerel. I'm out of breath. Uh, oh. uh. Uh. Way back home, I removed my hat because I am so hot. And there goes my earth. i getting ahead of me. Oh, look at the squirrel. We have a beautiful, beautiful forest and beautiful neighborhood. We're in the middle of a beautiful subdivision, but we're surrounded with forests. So you could have homes, but at the same time, you can have natures just beside you. Look at all these pine trees. Okay. This, that's the street where I used to live okay and that's an over 200 year old tree that fell through Now out the forest into the subdivision. So there you go. There you go. And there's the nature. There's the forest. We're on the way back home. 
in here the mail doesn't get delivered in your house it's get delivered on super mailboxes here every home is assigned with its own number and you take it out mm. Looks like somebody is going to Michigan State University or whatever the theme is that on, showing its support. Ah, there you go. Somebody's going for a walk. This is where we used to live. That's where the kids went to elementary from SK to grade 8. The St. Bridget Catholic School. So they just have a little walk from our home to their school. And then when they went to high school, they went to Christ the King. It's a five minute drive. So it's not that bad. So we've been living in this place for 24 years. Love it. It's a very quiet neighborhood, quiet town, and it's changing. There's a huge changes. More and more homes are being built. So the population is growing. When the kids were young, they're four years old, five years old. I used to push them in their stroller and we walk all the way here from our home to the park. And they play. We used to bring some food to a picnic. And once they are done playing for a couple of hours or three hours, that's when we go back home. They take a nap and same thing. Sometimes I bring all the kids' neighborhood, neighborhood kids. I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but it's snowing a little bit now. Just a little bit, not much. Not sure if you can see it, but it's snowing a little bit. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, hi. Look. It's snowing a little bit. Every intersection here has a saw, so you don't have to have an accident. So if anybody feels like putting the salt in the crossing stop you can be able to do so he finally put a privacy a privacy fence in here they have a pool 